Just a few clouds expected overnight with temperatures slipping back into the mid to upper 30s after this really warm afternoon. Now heading into tomorrow, I want to take it to the south and then we'll move back into our region because a big severe weather outbreak underway here as a storm system works its way across the southern part of the United States. Now that is going to impact a big part of Mississippi, Alabama and eastern Arkansas about 500 miles away from us. I point this out because this is the same storm system that will bring us rain as we go into tomorrow night and Thursday. In fact, I'll show you a future tracker here picking it up tomorrow evening. Those big storms are staying off to our south. The system will actually slide by just to our south, but what that does, it puts us in the heavy rain shield out of this storm system as we go through the day Thursday, and it'll add up about the time we get into Thursday night. Uh, tonight, we stay dry, though, just some clouds around, temperatures slipping into the mid to upper 30s. Tomorrow will be a dry day as well. We'll see some sunshine around, filtered by clouds at times, and temperatures keep climbing right back up to around 60 degrees uh, tomorrow afternoon. Into tomorrow, Tomorrow night, here comes the rain, especially later tomorrow night toward early Thursday morning. And then once this rain gets going, it will be around most of the day. And that northeast wind is going to be gusty, so it's going to feel blustery with the steady rain at times for your Thursday. A big soaker settling in throughout the day Thursday into Thursday night. Now those bigger storms try to stay just to our south, going to keep an eye on the track, but overall, the trend into Thursday night, colder temperatures. In fact, we could mix some snow in with these rain showers before this wraps up Thursday night into early a Friday morning. Now, the rain keeps adding up. A lot of spots will see at least a half inch of rainfall. A localized areas up to an inch or higher after all this dry weather. So uh, this will move in and move out about as quick as it makes its way on through here. So a fast moving system. A 60 tomorrow. That's your high temperature for your St. Patrick's Day. Overall, pretty good looking day. Just some clouds around. Rain moves in tomorrow night and Thursday with a gusty wind wrapping up with the chance of some wet snow mixing in Thursday night. Temperatures do drop back into the mid 20s to start your Friday morning. But here comes the nice weather. Mostly sunny into Friday afternoon. It'll stay cooler in the low 40s and then building into the mid 50s on Saturday. Spring officially arriving first thing in the morning and then sunny skies expected both Saturday and Sunday. We're pushing back into the mid 60s by early next week.